friends, it's Miss Abby Trejo from Carrington Academy in Avalon. Happy Tuesday and welcome back to class. So for today's science and sensory distance learning connection, we are going to build off of our clay play theme of the week. And today we're gonna do a really fun science experiment in which we make our very own Play-Doh um, right from your own home. So in just a second, I'm gonna put up a little supply list of some things that you're gonna need and then we can go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so to make your own Play-Doh, you're going to need some flour, some salt, and some water. Optionally, you can use some scents and some food coloring. So you're going to go ahead and start with pouring in a small cup of water into a bowl. And then you can go in um, with some of your powder. So I started with our flour, and I went and I just used about two of these little cups of flour. And I just went ahead and poured that in. And then... I took my spoon and I started mixing until I came up with a nice even consistency or as even as we can get it. Um, and then we can go in with our salt. We're basically just going to repeat this process of sort of folding it into our mixture. Um, and instead of two cups, it's going to be only one. So as you can see here, I'm stirring and then adding more and stirring and adding um, to create this beautiful texture. And we're almost done. We're going to go in with our food coloring. If you chose this step, I would put in a couple of drops and then just mix it until you can get the color to be even. So that's what I'm doing here. We're mixing um, and we just kept doing this until we came up with our pretty pink color that we have here. And here we go. Our last step is to just seal it with an airtight bag. There we go. We just made our very own colored, maybe even scented Play-Doh. I hope you guys have so, so much fun with this activity and I can't wait to see how it works out in a couple weeks and you guys can open your container and play with your own Play-Doh. I think that's so neat and to get colors that maybe you don't have at home. So thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see pictures and videos and stories of you guys enjoying this activity and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.